All righty, minor league baseball fans, welcome to Minor League Baseball, the show. Tonight is our final game of this four-game series between the visiting San Antonio Missions and your West Texas Rockhounds. Well, we are back at beautiful Franco Park as we are ready for baseball. 7 o'clock and rain. Rain in the forecast. And nine innings of play. Well, let's get your starting lineups for the visiting San Antonio Missions. Batting first in center field is Chris Vasquez. Vasquez at center. Wilson McCormick will bat second for San Antonio. McCormick at right. Left fielder Felipe Sierra will bat third for San Antonio. Sierra at left. Designated hitter is Craig Madreno. He'll bat fourth for San Antonio. Madreno, the DH. Gilberto Lopes will bat fifth for San Antonio. Lopes at second. Angel Aquino will bat six for San Antonio. Aquino at first. Catching for San Antonio is Johan Barrera. He'll bat seventh for San Antonio. Shortstop Jose Rondon will bat eighth for San Antonio. Rondon at short. Third baseman Eldon Dunn round out the batting order for the missions. Vasquez, McCormick, and Sierra will be your first of three. Madreno, Lopes, and Aquino will be your middle three. Barrera, Rondon, and Dunn round out the batting order for the missions tonight. And on the mound for San Antonio, Larry Granger. Granger, tonight's. Missions pitcher. And now here's your starting lineup for your Midland Rockhounds. Batting first in designated hitter David Perez. Perez at designated. Shortstop Maurice Ferris will bat second for Midland. Ferris at short. Left fielder is Ken Baladares. Baladares at left. Center fielder is Jacob Brugman. Brugman at fourth in center field. Fifth is our catcher for the Rockhounds, Vinny Franco. Franco catching. Third baseman, Louis Michaud will bat six for Medlin. Michaud at third. Second baseman is Chet Navarro. He'll bat seventh for Midland. Navarro at second. First baseman is George Fernandez. He'll bat eighth for Midland. Fernandez at first. Right fielder Luis Batista rounds out the batting order for the Rockhounds. Perez, Ferris, Boladores will be your first of three. Brugman, Franco, and Michad will be your middle three. Navarro, Fernandez, and Batista round out the batting order for the Rockhounds this evening. And on the mound for Midland, Paul Blackburn. Blackburn, this evening's pitcher. And that is your starting lineup.
Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. A good matchup here for you tonight between the San Antonio Missions and the Midland Rockhounds. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Number 58, the California-born right-hander is on the mound. Harold, what do you got? Well, he's got four pitches to work with and uses them all at all different times in the game. So he keeps hitters off balance and gives you a lot to think about. Digging in, Chris Vasquez. And we are set for baseball for here this evening. Center fielder, Chris Sends that Vasquez. one out of play for strike one. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. And, and another foul ball. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. Skied into straightaway right. Batista is there to put it away for route number one. Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. What's this club need to focus on this evening, H? Well, this is a tough lineup right here. Bunch of young bloods, youngsters coming right at you. They're aggressive. They're excited to be there. And I think they have the advantage because you haven't seen them before as the pitcher, and I know they haven't seen you either, but, man, they're coming out of the shoot. First pitch fastball, they're probably swinging. Into the windup and the pitch. And this is fouled straight back. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. That was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. Another one sent foul. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. To me, when it's raining, the approach of the plate has to change a little bit, especially if you're a guy that can run a little bit. Put the ball in play any way possible, especially on the ground. Making plays in the rain becomes exponentially tougher to do when it's wet. So these offenses really need to limit the strikeouts. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. So a relatively routine start for the top of the first here. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Larry Granger, a Michigan-born lefty, gets the starting job here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Striding in, David Perez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the Leading first. Off of the Rock Hound. Designated hitter, David Perez. Heading out towards shallow right. McCormick has it, and it's a quick out number one. A chance now to take a look at how the home team lines up in this one. What's the key to sending fans home smiling tonight, Harold? Well, this guy they're facing today is all over the place. He walks a lot of guys. So now as a hitter, you got to really focus on the pitch you're looking for and make sure he throws you strikes. If not, he'll have the advantage. Right now, you have it. Line drive to center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Great execution. You hit it where it's thrown, right? That ball's thrown right up the middle. He hit it right back up the middle. A lot of hits in the middle. Maladaris.
into the box. Ken Baladares as he'll go after the first pitch and line one into right field for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. You talk about a pre-swinger. First pitch and he hits a ball that's down and away and gets a base hit. Man, that's not what I'm looking for first pitch, but I got to tip my cap to him. He executed it. Into the box now, number 38. He pulls this one into right. That's in there, base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. Patrick, Vinny Franco. Standing in now, Vinny Franco as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Bases are loaded here, one man out. Hit back up the middle. Backhanded. A step on the bag for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. We've played an inning. Still nothing, nothing. Standing in, Craig Medrano. He'll lead it off here to begin the second. Craig Medrano. Here comes the first pitch. And a good first pitch as he gets him to bounce one on the ground out towards second. Oh, got him, and that's a gorgeous play. Okay, here's the defense for the home Second team basement. brought to you by Majestic. Gilberto and let's look Lowe. down at that third baseman. That looks a long ways to first base, doesn't it? He makes it look easy. He can go into the whole foul ball and throw a ball across the diamond on a dot. He's got one of the best arms you will ever see. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Yeah. Gilberto loads. Started to go around, but it's a called strike. 0-1. The wind up and the 0 1. High pop up. Ferris is over. Two down. Batting six. First baseman, Angel Aquino. Now batting, Angel Aquino. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. He looks really strong here early in this game, and that fastball is a good example. Put that thing in a great spot and right where he wanted it. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now. 0-2. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. up now Lewis Michaud he'll look to get something going Third here in this run. scoreless ball game Michaud into the windup and the pitch good swing just got to try and straighten that one out Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Really deceptive change up there. Very well executed. It looks like it just sort of dies when it gets close to the plate. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Got him swinging in the dirt. Up with it, Barrera. And he makes Michad. the throw to first. Michad is retired and there's one away. Not okay, here's seven. the defense for the away team. Brought to you by Majestic. Chet. It's no not tomorrow. often that you say the right fielder is the best defender on the team, but this guy stands right up there. He catches everything. He's a tremendous athlete. He makes the throws. He's got a cannon. Oh, my gosh. Wait till you see him throw. Fun to watch. I really like that pitch right there. The batter will tell you everything. You get a late swing right there on a fastball low and away. That means that's a great located pitch. He had well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. The 0-2 delivery. A swing and a miss for route number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. 
Digging in the switch hitter, George Fernandez. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Here's the 0-1. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. And there's number eight, one away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. So add one more name to the record book here as he strikes out the side on nine pitches. Two complete. Still scoreless here on the show. So striding forward now, Johan Barrera. He's the, the number mission. seven hitter, but he's Catherine. leading off the third Johan after the first six Barrera. guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. <laughs> takes a high fastball for a strike. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Two quick strikes and now the 0-2. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out. One away. Batting eight. Jose Here now is Jose Rondon. Rondon. Here comes the first pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Third inning, no score to this point. A swing and a miss on a ball that jammed him. Watching him on the mound, I'm really impressed with what he's doing right now. He's been really aggressive and confident over the last couple of innings. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Hit out towards second. Navarro loves it. Throw gets him. Two down. Standing in, Eldon Gunn. Gunn. Fly ball to straightaway left. Moving under it, Baladares. And the inning is over. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. And we are tied nothing nothing. Striding into the box, Luis Batista. He starts off the Looking inning off against a guy who struck out the side right. last Hilder. inning. How do they get Luis. to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Into the windup and the pitch. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. But right there to glove it is the shortstop the for the first out. Double zero. Digging in to try it again. David Perez. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Hit on the ground to third. A dive and he knocks it down. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. Ready for another chance. Maurice Ferris. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Sierra going back. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Ken Riding in once again, Ken Baladares. He's set and the pitch. And they ball pitch ball out here, ball. but nothing's going on. The 1 0 delivery to third. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. One hit, one left. On now to the top of inning number four, and we are tied nothing, nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Chris 
Vasquez Leading back to the, the top mission. of the lineup as they're Center still fielder. looking for their first Great. base runner in this Vasquez. one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Now batting, right fielder, Wilson. Digging in for his second at bat, Wilson McCormick comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Aye. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Oh Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. Fastball called for strike two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Fernandez is there for it. He's got it, and there are two down now. So we saw the fastball there as he got the pop-out, and that will segue right into our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And both of these guys working in pretty much the same realm, just a one-mile-an-hour differential from 94 down to 93 as the top speeds. Into the box now. Felipe Sierra and then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now feels like we're seeing a lot of three up three down innings no doubt about that Matt hey I've enjoyed watching him go about his business but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning can't start any better than this he's set down the first 12 to the bottom of inning number four we go and we are tied nothing nothing Stepping in, number 38. He's set to lead us off in the home half Center of the fourth fielder, inning. Number 38. Line hard to center field. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the now first out of the inning. Catcher, Franco. Now to the plate, Vinny Franco. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the windup and the pitch. Uh, had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. Well, they have been really aggressive swinging early in the count, early in this game, and that's twofold. You're either not going to get a high pitch count from the pitcher, which could go against you, or you're going to knock him out. We're coming right after him being aggressive. Right now, I think they're just being aggressive. Here's the one and one delivery. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change his speeds, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden, he pulls the string and throws you the straight change, the dreaded equalizer. And this is fouled back and out of play. I like the pitch right there. Two-strike fastball out of the zone, see if he'll chase. I'd go even further out this time, see if he chases it again. Here's another one, too. Got him swinging, chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have this lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. Swing and a little blooper to center, and that'll get down for a base hit. You can't throw a ball high enough over this guy's eyes. He is a bad no ball hitter, 15. and if you throw it Second up, baseman. he'll just climb the ladder Cat with the pitcher. Navarro. In now, Chet Navarro, and he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0-2. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side.
digging in. Craig Medrano, Leading 0 for 1 Santa for him Antonio. here in this one. The designated hitter, Craig Medrano. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Under it is the center fielder. One away. Now batting, second baseman, Gilberto. Stepping Lopes. into the box, Gilberto Lopes comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now look at our line score to this point, and I'm almost certainly jinxing things by pointing it out, but it's worth mentioning that zero in the hit column through two outs here in the fifth. At the plate, Angel Aquino. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Boy, that was filthy right there. That was a great indicator of how well he's throwing the ball. He's doing nice in the game, but that pitch was filthy. Ready with another 0-2. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. At the plate, George Fernandez. He'll lead things off as we begin the home fifth. George Fernandez. And this is going to be a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Now here's a fly ball, well hit. Sierra ranging back. Yeah. To lead off the inning. <laughs> this is one of those pitches that will stick with a pitcher for a long time after a game. Here's a hitter whose average at best doesn't hit for a lot of power. Not a great average. He has him down in the count 0-2. And what does he do? Grooves one right to him. And even an average hitter like this will punish your mistakes. Well, right fielder, Stepping one, in now, Luis, Luis Batista. As yes, he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. After that swing, you just got to reset yourself. You still have a strike to work with, and you, you can't be thinking about how silly you just looked on that last pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Hey, every pitcher gives up home runs, some more than others, but the best ones forget about them as soon as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. And he chased it in the dirt. Barrera is after it. And the throw is in time. Perez is retired. Two down now. Digging in once again. Maurice Ferris. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Line drive to left. And that falls in for a solid base hit. His second of the night. So he delivers with two away, and the bottom of the fifth marches on. Now look at the screen here, okay? That well, ball is fielder, inside off the zone, Ken inside Maladar. off the plate, and he still was able to pull his hands inside and get a base hit. Ready for another shot now. Ken Baladares, he's one for two in the ball game.
He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit on the ground to short. Reined in. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Rockhounds lead it one to nothing. Digging in to try it again. Johan Herrera. Rain continues to fall Johan here in the sixth. Herrera. Into the windup and the pitch. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't cover the whole plate. He's done a masterful job with pounding him on the outside half for strikes, and they haven't figured it out yet. Baladares is right there as he puts 13. it away. No problem Shortstop, for the first out. Jose Rondon. Here now is Jose Rondon. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Hit on the ground to third. To his left, Michard. And the sixth inning is progressing quickly here. Now two away. Now batting. Ready for another chance. Eldon Dunn comes into this at bat. 0 for 1 in the ball game. Hit back toward the mound. Ferris is up with it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Striding in once again, number 38. He's batting cleanup in this one, but we'll get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just the single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Catcher, Vinny Ready once again, Vinny Franco. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Well, it's clearly on that fastball. He hit that one hard. He just could not keep it fair. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0-2. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. That's his second strikeout of the game. Third I wouldn't baseman, be surprised if a coach one. finds him in the dugout Lewis. and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Yeah. Lewis Michaud stands in as he oh, swings one. and misses for strike one. Boy, not a good swing there. That was really ugly. Anytime you can make a hitter look like that, you've done something special. Now, did it look to you like he was guessing on the pitch? Oh, certainly it oh, had to be, Matt. Right. But if he was, he obviously wasn't looking for that pitch. The discipline has just been completely absent from this offense. It seems like they're always finding themselves behind the count. And, and a big reason why is they're swinging at all kinds of stuff that's not even in the strike zone. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here. And the side is retired. Back here for Texas League Baseball on the show. It's on to the seventh inning now, but before the inning gets started, let's fill you in on what you may have missed. It's our game summary to this point. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Chris Vasquez. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Here's a swing and a high pop-up, drifting toward the third base dugout, and he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for out number one. How about it? Right fielder, Wilson McCormick. Digging in once again, Wilson McCormick. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. High in the air out to center field. Waiting on it, the center fielder. Two down. 
Now batting. Standing Bob in, Felipe, Felipe Sierra. Sierra. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Eight. And he starts him out with a strike on the other hand. That pitch right there, Matt. 100%. Every hitter, listen to this, every hitter in the game, he's throwing a first pitch strike too. That's ridiculous. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Lofted it in the air out toward right center. Number 38 is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. It's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Digging in the switch hitter, Chet Navarro. He's hoping to avoid the hat Second trick. He struck out in each of his Chet first two Navarro. plate appearances so far. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Had him fooled there as this is lifted in the air out to left center and shallow. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. George Fernandez. George Fernandez will stand in again as we take you back to earlier in the ballgame. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. On the ground up the middle, Rondon ranging up the middle, and the throw here is going to get him at first. Excellent range there at short, and there are two away now. Hey, not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. First delivery to him on the way. That's it to short. Does he have another 1-2-3 inning? He does. Seven in a row he's set down now as the side is retired. Ready for another shot now. Craig Madrano. He comes in 0 for 2 hitter, thus far. Craig Madrano. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Ground ball right side. Navarro over to his left. Two on the first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Second baseman. Settling Gilberto. in now, Gilberto Lopes. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Right there for strike one. I really like how he's been throwing a lot of first pitch strikes in this game. That first pitch strike, it just opens up the whole strike zone and what you can do as a pitcher. A wave and a miss, a tip behind the good fastball. He's feeling it out there on the mound, just getting the ball and throwing it with a lot of confidence right now. The pitch. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Bases are empty, one man out. Got him. Four outs away from his date with history. Well, a huge out number two here in the eighth. Four outs remain, but the finish line is starting to come into focus now. Aquino. Now to the plate, Angel Aquino. Been a strikeout victim twice in this one. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Baladares racing back. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A solo shot here to left, and this ball game is tied at one. close but with one swing of the bat the no hit bid ends here with two out in the eighth still a remarkable pitching performance nonetheless I really thought he was going to get it I was looking forward to the ninth inning who's been in such a great groove but wow to give it up that way that's a tough one to swallow into the box now Johan Barrera goes for two for him to this point oh one here's the pitch it swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. 
Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here as it ties the ball game. Bottom of the eighth coming up. All tied at one and one. Alberto Tejeda is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Alberto Tejeda. Now at the plate, David Perez. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. Designated hitter, David Perez. This is line to left. And this inning starts with a solid base hit. So it's a leadoff base hit to open their half of the eighth. Digging in and looking for more. Maurice Ferris is looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. Grounded back up the middle. He'll go to the bag for one on the first. And you can forget about the go-ahead run being on base. He's erased on the double play. Well, it was a promising start with the leadoff man on in a tie ball game. But there's nothing like a double play ball to change the course of an inning. Standing in now, Ken Baladares. Swing and a liner, but foul. The 0 1 pitch. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Slider lift on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Here now is Jose Rondon. He'll be charged with trying to get on board, leading off the ninth. High in the air out towards shallow right. Batista has a read on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. How about him? Third baseman. Digging Eldon. in, Eldon John. Dunn. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Hey. Fastball in there for the third strike. Well, it feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah, it really does, Matt, but this offense isn't helping him too much. It sort of feels like the next team to score is going to win this thing. Hey. Strike two. Skied into very shallow right. Batista moves over, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting, the center fielder, Chris Vasquez. Digging in, Chris Vasquez. Into the windup and the pitch. Slow bouncer to the right side. Going to be a tough play. And he will apply the tag himself, and the inning is over. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, and six coming up. All tied at one and one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. The windup and the 0-1. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up on the backhand. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Now batting. Catcher. Vinny Coming to the plate Franco. now. Vinny Franco. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Line to the right side. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Third baseman, number one. So striding forward Lewis. now, Lewis Michaud. Michaud. And he got him out in front that time. Strike one. A drive to the left. So a 
solo shot here to left center field. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. Well, they say better late than never, and that's obviously something that he takes to heart as he puts a charge in one for a walk-off homer. Got to be the best feeling in all of baseball. a really solid starting pitching performance kept the opposition at bay and as a result he's our top player of the game well you know he wants that one pitch back that led to the lone hit but it was pretty awesome watching him do his thing he had guys off balance and flailing at the plate all game long so he really was the story Close one tonight, two to one, the final score. So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out the shownation.com. <coughs>